Hey guys, what's up? Uh, real quick, I'm going to show you. Uh, I was talking to Dave earlier and he he just put up on nailbuster.com uh, the instructions on how to get your Zen FX Steam version 2023 in your pinup popper. So I figured I'd make a quick video to show you real quick. All right, so you go to nailbuster.com. You should know that by now, all right? The whole, the whole beginning, uh, we already did. So if you followed my video on how to set up your back glass and everything, cabin mode, it's all done for you. So you can just skip all the way down to here, all right? There'll be four files you're going to download, all right? One's your wheels, uh, you know, the images for all your wheels. Uh, one's all your back glasses. For in popper, the wheels for in glass, you know, in popper. One's going to be your import uh, file that will bring all your tables into your games folder without having to do them one at a time. And another one is an AHK file, and that is that's a file that you're going to put in your pinup system. Um, what do you call it? I just went blank. Your pinup system launch uh, folder. So you go to your C drive. All right, pinup system, top one is launch, see right here? You just put those two, drag and drop those two files in this folder, all right? That's all you have to do. Your, your wheels, see I, I have a folder there, Pinball FX, which you'll have after I show you. Your wheels, you'll put in your wheel folder, your back glasses, you'll put in your back glass folder, right here. In pinup system, pop media, pinball effects. That's it. All right. That's 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 three of your downloads done. And the only one you left you have is your importing games file. All right. <clears throat> but before we get to that, you have to create the emulator. All right. So you can open up your pinup popper setup. All right. It's always good to do a backup. So if you want to do a backup here, make a backup. All right, click on emulators. I'm on my, my cabinet right now, so it's always going to jump over there. All right, you're going to hit the plus sign, which is which will create a new emulator. Let me click on my Pinball FX. And you just copy everything I have here. Uh, he has it in there, too. It's Pinball Space FX, Pinball Space FX, Pinball Space FX. All right, your EXE folder, that's where your Steam uh, e .exe uh, file is for almost everyone it's going to be in your C program files x86 folder steam and then it'll be there all right you just click here and go and go to that folder and you're good to go all right if you put it somewhere else then you gotta click here and you gotta find it somewhere else all right um, for game file extensions they're PXP ROMs folder, it's optional. You don't have to put it in. I have it in, but you you don't have to put it in. All right, so it's not in the nail musters thing, so you don't have to do it. Media directory, you do have to do it. C, it's gonna go. So you're gonna click here. It's you click on your C drive, pin up system, pop media, and then you cre create a folder called pinball fx and that's where it's going to put all your you know all your uh pit popper art and stuff like that so where i just showed you where we put the wheels and the back glass after you create this folder that's the folder that they go in all right down here is important keep displays on okay normally we like to put two and five your your back glass your full dmd can't do that with the new pinball FX. All right, you could put zero. That's if you have a topper, a separate topper from all. If you have four screens and you have a separate topper, you can put zero. And you know, I created a pinball FX topper uh, that I want, and it'll show just during every game instead of having a blank screen. All right. Next thing you do. Well, when we've done all that, click the check button. 
Then you got to go to launch setup. Okay. You have your nailbuster.com. You still have this open. This is where this comes into play. Right here. He has it right here for you. I know you can't see my cursor, but um, right here in this box where it says launch script, <laughs> when you put your cursor in there, this little gray box will appear in the upper right corner. And I'm going to left click the, with the mouse and you'll, you'll see it. See it in green text copied, copies it for you. Then you just go launch script with your mouse and you paste it. You paste that there. Close script is this little tiny one right here. Do the same thing. You copy it and you paste it. Click the check mark to save and you're done. You close it. Okay? Now, scroll down a little more. Now we go to Game Manager. Okay? Click on Game Manager. This, this box will come up. You're familiar with this. Where emulators are. Now you have Pinball FX in there. Select it. Yours is going to be empty. You have that file on your desktop. That import file I told you about. All you got to do is put the mouse over the empty spot. Make sure you're on Pinball FX and not anything else. So this should be empty. Right click with your mouse button. This will come up. You want to click on import new games from file. Okay. You left mouse click it. This will come up. Because you saved it to your desktop. It's going to be nice and easy to find. Uh, you scroll down. Uh, I deleted mine already. <laughs> so it's not going to be easy to find. Mine's in my recycling bin. I'll show you what it looks like. Let's see. There we go. I'll restore it for you, just so you can see what it looks like. And cancel this. All right. Import. Okay. We're on the desktop. Scroll down. It's going to be at the, there. It goes. See that? You click it, and then you click open. I'm clicking cancel because I already did it. When you click open, it's going to import all the games for you as you see into popper all right i have all the games if you don't own all the games you got to go in here and you just delete the ones you don't have all right uh all right for now that's it you click save close out of here then you go to play fist playlist config all right bring it over here Click on Pinball FX, your new, uh, actually you got to create it. You're going to add new playlists, right? And you name it Pinball FX or whatever you really want to, but Pinball FX is what it is, right? And then you can move it up or down to where you want it on your wheel. Just remember that you got to hit save playlist, uh, you know, um, space when, when you're done. Uh, or else it would, it won't it won't be where you want it on your wheel. So you created your pinball FX playlist. You come over here where it has emulators. Find pinball FX. There it is. As you can see, when you do that, you see the numbers next to it. That's your ID numbers that Popper cr creates for your emulators. So. Mine's 11, all right? The reason why you need that is, what you uh, see where it says playlist here for settings? You're gonna copy and paste right here. I know you can't see, you can see where my arrow is on the, you should be able to see it on the desktop, but right here is another thing where you can copy. See right here, the little thing? Comes up, boom, hits green. It says select star from games where e EMUID equals 10, blah, blah, blah. Right? You're going to paste that in the settings thing for your new Pinball FX playlist. All right? 
what you got to do is change the number 10 that he has to whatever number your system numbered pinball FX. And it tells you right next to it. So mine's number 11. See? So I change that to number 11. That's it. Then you click on playlist. Over here, again, you'll you'll pick five, uh, filter emulator. It'll be pinball FX. This will be filled with all those games that are already over there. You just right click on the mouse and left click select all, and then you click on add games, and it'll move all the, all the games into that playlist. Then you hit close. All right, now you gotta go back to game manager. This is what's going to take a little bit of time. All right. Those two files that you put in the pinup system launch folder is, and that's, that, that's down here. This is the experimental uh, part. See right here? Auto launch table directly. This is, this will hopefully launch when you pick a table right into your table instead of having to try and move around and, and actually select a table from pin, pinball effects because unless you have a, a d-pad or a controller you can't select it you know what i mean so this does it for you so the way you can do it is you use your cell phone and go on open up uh pinball fx without popper and stuff Take a picture of where all your games or your tables are listed. All right. The first game is Wild Wild West. All right. So what you're going to do is go to Pinball FX. All right. It's all your games. First, oh, Wild Wild, Wild West Rampage. I'm sorry. Okay. Then you got to go to Custom Launch Parameter. And it's the first one, so it's zero, zero. Zero space zero you put, all right? Or zero space one, I, I can't remember. I think it's zero space zero, and I think the second one is zero space one. If not, if it doesn't work, then it's zero space one. But I think it's zero. So then you got to do that for every single table, all right? So... And you have to do, you know, zero, one, one space, one, you know, two space, one, like that. That's the way it goes. You have to do it for every row and, and, uh, and column. So that'll allow you to pick, you know, the right one. I believe it's, see, he says down here, you got to write down or take a photo. Uh, then you go to popper. And for each table you own, you'll have to place the row and column separated by a space into the custom launch perimeter. So, yeah, zero, zero, one. This would, this would mean row zero, column one is located for this game. This would be the second game visibly, as the first game is row zero, column zero. I uh, I told Dave that earlier, <laughs> just just to plug just to plug my channel for helping out. <laughs> All right, so then you hit save, close. Let's close this out, and let's just see if this works. I'm gonna I'm gonna I don't know with OBS here. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to show you, um, but let's try. Let's just try. Let's see if it works. All right. It's probably gonna mess up because of all. I shouldn't be. I should be rebooting right now. But let's just try. Um, but pinball FX. Uh, if you can see it right now, the, when I said I made a topper, that's my topper, the black ball.
Oh. Please wait. I am now loading button. up the game. Now I'm not going to touch anything. It's going to say press key, you know. It should do it on its own. Um, hopefully. It should, it should do it. He's saying press any button. I'm not hitting anything. Don't hit anything because the, the script is going to see the script hit it for me. Let's hope it does it correctly and goes into the game. Should go, it should launch wild, wild, uh, whatever, rampage. It should go to my tables, then click the ones that I own. Boom. And then click wild rampage, wild launch. West Rick. Look, now I didn't touch, well, you can't see, but I didn't you touch anything. Tell a town by its uh, I can turn the sign on. Good for me. So that's it, that, that launched Trump Hopper without me hitting any buttons. My solenoids are working. I don't, I don't know why they work, uh, but nothing else works. Like, you know, my, my lights and stuff, you know, don't work. But I'm sure maybe they will eventually once we get a link working, maybe. So, to get it to, uh, to get it to launch the table like this, you know, that, you know, so you don't have to go kicking it out of your, out of your collection, you have to, that's what those, so those, those files that you put in your pinup system launch, uh, folder. I'll never get now, tired of this. I have a fast computer, I actually edited that file. For the timing, because it was like stuck on the hit a button, uh, hit a button to start page for a while for me, because um, uh, all my tables are on M.2 drive, so they load pretty quickly, you know, there's no waiting, you know, so you'll just have to see what how fast your computer loads the game, you can adjust, uh, you can adjust that as, as needed. Now, I don't know, everyone complains about all this, this system lag and everything. Now, I'm playing it out of popper with custom scripts. Now my solenoids are working. Uh, there's no delay. I'm literally hitting it. 